the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Greetings and welcome people of God, you're inside the shift. I'm your girl Aldine. It's Testimony Tuesday. Right now we've got Ada, Ada Ehi, declaring that only Jesus can do the things that no other power can do. Mighty God. We give God praise and glory here on today. He's brought us into Tuesday. And so we are grateful. Who could have done it? But Jesus. Somebody said talk truth. I say only God. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Nothing is impossible when we're putting our trust in God. Inside the shift, I'm your girl Aldine. You know how we do it on a Tuesday. We've come with stories to tell. Lifting up the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Just like you walk the streets of Galilee. You are doing the same today. And like you heal the sick and you raise the dead. You are doing Jesus. Our God, He never changes. He's still the same yesterday, today, and forever. What He's done for others, He can do for you. If He did it for you in the past, He can do it for you in the present. And He will do it in the future because He's more than capable. to God it's testimony Tuesday and we know how we can get excited on a Tuesday just to hear people testify of the goodness and the greatness of Almighty God and so we do have a story to tell here on today Jesus Christ he's alive and well and so we give him all the praise that is due unto his name today we have connected with one of our sisters who she has a story to tell sister uh, evangelist Yvette Taylor she has a story to tell mighty God and just to let you in a bit uh, evangelist Yvette Taylor was held up by gunmen at our home people gunmen come in this woman yard Glory to God. Wrestling took place. I wonder if somebody is listening to what I am saying here on today. This woman of God and her husband, they were held up by gunmen in her home. Mighty God. But the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is our El Gibor, he fought on their behalf and gave them the victory. Glory to God. I mean, they suffered injuries, but today they are alive. She's alive to testify that God is a good God. 
and he continues to watch over his people so we have evangelist uh taylor on the other end of the line and, and so evangelist i just want to welcome you you're inside testimony tuesday go right on ahead and share your story with our listeners today let them know what the good lord has brought you through what he has done for you in jesus name i'm here i am evangelist taylor Yvette taylor just to let you know that god is alive and well yes and because god is alive and well i can truly say today that there is none like him none like him i told you in 2011 i was held up at my home by gunman yes me but me and my husband Mm-hmm. But to God be the glory, what they have meant for our bad God, turn it around for our good. Mm-hmm. It was about roughly like um, 7.30 we was outside. And there, both of us was outside, you know, in the cool sitting at the back of our home. There talking, both of us. And when I was there, I saw like a shadow in the yard. And when I looked out, there was a young man, about six feet tall, mm-hmm. with a gun in his hand. And when I, I realized, I said to my husband, said, look there. And when I said, look there, I hear him said, don't, don't move. He used an undecent language. And he used the undecent language. Um, I sh- shout out and I said, Jesus. When I said, Jesus. Mm-hmm. My husband said, don't make any more noise because this is this young boy. Once they have begun, they will shoot you. Mm-hmm. Keep be quiet. And he hold on to my hand. My husband hold on to my hand. And I hold on to his wound. Yes. And I say, God, whatever it may be, the two of us standing in the gap tonight. Yes, sir. And he come down, come down. And when he come down to us, he said, um, we must go inside the house. And when we go in the house, he said, money is going to get. He said, I don't have no money because my husband has a temper and I'm ready to take him on. Mm-hmm. But I don't know what come over me, you know. And I said, we don't have no money, you know. He said to me, he said, yeah, I know you may talk to, you know, your husband may talk yes. to. And everything may ask your answer. But I don't know something come over me and I had was to take it on. Even when the gunman shot me up, I still yes, answer. Sir, because God. my husband in a temper. Mm-hmm. And when I answer him, so, I say my youth, because he start give me him talk now, so I have to come down to him level for him get me, what, what me mean. I say my youth, if we that money, we know he that come here so can live. Mm-hmm. Who that live in our ski? He say, girl, I say, if you shut up your mouth. Yes. I know you may talk to and um, right there and then he saw my husband working close then because my husband was a security officer. And him supposed to go work the next morning. Yes. And he said to me, say, the gunman said, you are armed security? So I said, no, he said, no, no armed security. He said, yeah, little year, I said, shut up your mouth. I know you may talk to. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I answer him because I realize if me no answer him, things are going to go sore. Yes. And uh, he did the animal talk, animal talk, animal say, so where you going the way you have? Me say, him not have no gun. I just the thing them that he wear, the badge them that he wear on his uniform. Yes. Anyway, him still, as a say, girl, me say, if you shut up your mouth, but me still answer him. Anyway, him start to search the dresser jar, them and him start groaning at the house and him start to look and draw out the jar, them and I look. Mm-hmm. Anyway, him going at me and back. And when he's going up, he find handbag and he's going and find seven hundred dollars. And when he find the seven hundred dollars, he take up the seven hundred dollars and he put the seven hundred dollars in his pocket. And he come back at the fridge and he pull the fridge. Yes. And he look in the fridge. And Red Bull did in the fridge, and the fridge do, and he take a Red Bull. And he did pull already, because he threw out some and turn his head and drink out when he in the pan. <laughs> and when he drink out, when he in the pan, he lock the fridge. And him say, I'm turn back on the dress and I'm waiting by the panny, no watch, and my husband waiting by. And me say to him, say, my youth, I go say this to you. You see, anything you see in your house where you want, don't do it no harm. 
So um, you, you, you tell him, you tell him to take. If you want. So you tell him to take anything we anything we say and he want, but don't hurt you no. Know? Right. Mm -hmm. So me say, you want to take it? So if you want it, take it and go on with it. He say, girl, yeah, you think me a fool? A seven year class is going to follow me if we take up that. And he don't trouble the wedding band. Yes. So when time him when him said that no, he turned back to me and he said to me, say, a Christian. I said, yes, me a Christian. He said, you're not afraid. I said, no, I'm not afraid. But I sit down there and I talk to God in my mind. And I said, God, a time for you make this boy left me place. See him, so I say in my mind. Mm -hmm. And when I say it in my mind, you know, because I can't talk over, but I talk to God in my mind, you know. Glory to God. I hear him say, a time for me left this place. Mm -hmm. I see him like, oh, I go through the door. Me man run off and grab him back way and when my husband grab him back way him hold up the gun now if he go turn it down for my husband and my husband grab the gun with the gun and decide never to let go the, the hand with the gun yes so him can't he can't can squeeze the trigger yes and me run out and start bah if he help but my husband was a asthmatic and the asthmatic him and the gunman flash and grab on the table and one knife hit the on the table and him use the other hand because of the right hand my husband grab with the gun mm -hmm. and he grab the knife and when he grab the knife he start a stab after him at the time he run out and got so hold on there, so hold on there, hold so, so on there, because you said the husband hold the, the hand with the gun, and the and the brother yeah. using next hand for hold on for a knife. The the yeah, so, so, the so so what happened to the gun that time? My husband hold the hand with the gun, but him nah let go the gun. Eh? Yeah. He nah let go the gun. And him and my husband wrestle, wrestle, so till he come out through the door. Yes. And when he come out through the door, you know, my fight can realize that the crowd are going to come down for him now. And them are going to find out who him be or my be now losing life. Mm -hmm. And him stab my husband with the knife in his foot and, and cut the artery in his foot. And when he stab him in his foot, now he stab after him. Neck, but the knife never reach in at the neck, in at the short part. He reach on the chest, that's so where the bone there, mm -hmm. right in for going to part in your neck, that's so. And him all the fear shake some wild stuff, because I remember, and at the right hand, him I used to have a fire, you know, at the left hand. Mm -hmm. And he used to hold the head hand, but the boy frisky. And when my husband hold it, hold the hand, he stab after my husband, he lads above his ears. And then I run through the top of his ears, that's so. Go down through the drum, there so, and when he go through the drum, he go through the skin and lodge straight in his jawbone. He stab him, he stab him at the top of his ears, and he go in his yes, and it bore. He to the opening of yes, his ears, bore. and he go through his jaw. Yes, mighty God. Yes, right through the jaw. So when me run go call help and come back now. When me come, me see the knife and grab up my husband. He is this one head. And yes. he said to me, said, don't struggle it because he gone through my flesh. And when me look at the bone, the knife blade, the hand and the skin, because it goes down and comes, go through the skin. So yes. we couldn't struggle it. We couldn't take it out. So now we call one taxi. And the taxi come and we carry him to the hospital. And they must carry him to a the theater. But take out the knife out and head. But you said, do surgery if you get out the knife. But you said something happened to you too while you were running for help. So so tell us what yes. you said happened. So when me when we run out now for call, I always to jump a fence. And when I jump the fence, I realized that the wire, the back wire, flit my breast. That's you could have seen the white mm -hmm. through it. Until now, me have the mark. See so that scars. And uh, yes, that is a scar that I will never forget. Each time that I look down on my breast, I remember everything about what happened Mighty that night. God. And they went to the hospital with him. And they did the surgery to took the knife from his head. Mm -hmm. And the other day, when, when I went by the hospital, he was swelled from his head straight to his foot. You, you saying swell up? Yes. I never knew that my husband would have made it. So what, 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 what causes swelling? What them say causes swelling? Because he had, he had bleed a lot of blood and the artery in his foot was cut and there was a lot of stab wound on him. 
Oh. Yes. And he was in terrible pain. So, so hold on, no, no. And what happened to the wounds that you had from the barbed wire? Because you say your barbed wire got your, your breast. It, it slit your breast, you know. So what? How, how yes. those were treated at hospital as well? Yes, I was treated too. I was treated too and sent home. Okay. Got medication. Got medication and sent home. Stitches and stuff. No, I never, I never get any stitches. Oh. I never get any stitches. And I was sent home on medication, but my husband was admitting the hospital mm -hmm. because he was damaged very badly. Yes. Almost, almost lose his foot. Mighty God. He had was to go through two surgery, two surgery because when he leave from Maypen Hospital, they had was to admit him back at Chess Hospital to do another surgery. Okay. Yes, they had was to admit him at Chess to get some skin from his bottom to patch out that cut there because they had was to slit the foot and yes. take out those dead flesh from it. And I, w I was to go back and forth in all of that. Mm -hmm. I've been through so much pain and sleepless night and aftershock. Glory to God. At one point when my husband came home from hospital, he's like, I say, God, why you allow me to go through all of this? I just lately got married, and I think it would be smooth, but it was so rough. I think I... And right there and then, right there and then, my sister, after that, when my husband did the last surgery, mm -hmm. I remember he was saying to the doctor, Doc, I feel like I am not a man anymore. I'm wondering if I'm going to get a child. And the doctor said to him, say, yes, it is going to happen because what, you're pretty young and um, the rest that you get and the care that you get when you're in the hospital, everything going to fall in place. Yes. And after, after that, let us tell you, when he came home back from the last surgery, and he had was to travel back and forth. Right there and then, it, it don't run off a month, I get pregnant mm -hmm. with my daughter. First child for him. First child for him. And I remember one day, you know, when he was from the hospital and at home. I'm the only one that worked. I am the breadwinner now for the family because my husband dear sitting down, cannot move his foot. Oh, God. And... I had was to take on everything in spite of that. And I remember one day he said to me, say, um, all of my life I saw me I was still down here, so and I said, No, you know, God no give me one husband when me piss sit down and look and God I go heal your foot. Yes. And he said to me, say, But see they're not even a big two now more. That was what he said. And believe you, me, my sister, my feet that I had. Glory I to say, God, me no me come to you for my husband and you now give me my husband to sit down and look on in a chair. You go and heal that foot and him go walk and yes, then he must play football. And I say, yeah, play football again with that foot. In the name of and Jesus. my sister, I had a backlash of consecrative olive oil and I start pray for the foot and I start night the foot. And when I start night the foot, I remember him said, Sandra, me big to a move. In the and name say, of yes, Jesus. Yes, that's the beginning of it. Yes, yes. He said, me big to a move. Me I go move it again. And when I look at it, me say, move it, make me see. And he moved the big toe. Thank you, Lord. when he moved the big toe, me say, yes, this is the start point tonight. And I never stop night that foot and pray for it with consecrative olive oil. So and so tell him, start go ball, go and go play ball again. My yes. God. So you're telling me now that today things are back to normal. He's walking around again and stuff like that. Yes. Mighty he's God. walking around with that foot. He's driving with that foot. He's playing football with that foot. I'm saying this for somebody out there in Radio Land. You can take something from my experience to have to what you are going through it not might similar as mine but let me tell you if you just hold on to the man jesus yes. he will fix it he will and fix it. what the enemy 
and men for your bad, God will, God turn, will it turn it around for your good. In Jesus so you name. just continue to trust in the Lord and to hold on to his unchanging hand. He is the man with the plan. Yes, to sir. God be the glory. Great things he has done. Glory to God. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the you name of Jesus. Good. Amen and amen. Amen. Yes, people of God, there we have it. Evangelist Yvette Taylor sharing her testimony of how the Lord came through for her. He fought her battles and today she's alive and well, her husband too. And so we give God praise and glory for them. You're inside the shift. I'm your girl Aldine and I'm saying peace out until tomorrow, God's willing, when we meet back up inside here for Worship Wednesday. Only Jesus, he can make the blind to see, make the lame to walk again. He can do, undo, and redo the things that he has done. Be blessed and be a blessing here on Tuesday. Somebody call him by his name. <laughs>